Runway has just launched their latest version of video to video or video repainting and it's a really big deal for narrative filmmakers. Let me tell you why. Video repainting or video to video is a big deal for narrative filmmakers because it allows you to have real human actors delivering real authentic human performances and get a very, very similar result. At the moment, AI video has three major categories. Text to video, where you type in a text prompt and you get a video. Then there is image to video, where you've got a picture of some kind and the AI tool turns that into a video. And then there's the one that I like most, which is video to video, where you can record real actors performing real scenes, delivering real lines with real facial expressions and real human body language that helps to tell the story. And then the AI tool will essentially paint over the top of that and it allows you to change the lighting, change the costumes, change the background. Now it doesn't do everything, it does have its limitations, but it will do remarkable things to an otherwise fairly ordinary looking scene. So just a bit of backstory, I started noticing video repainting early in 2024 and all this year I've been reviewing things, keeping an eye on these kind of tools and playing around with them to see how close are we and how far away are we. And we've kind of been in the version 1.0 of video repainting. But Runway has just brought out what I think we can all agree is video repainting 2.0. It's very exciting. So I'm gonna show you some of the ones that I've looked at so far. And there are four major problems with video repainting at the moment, up to this point. One is really bad lip sync and you have to go to a third party tool to improve the lip sync or to get any kind of lip sync at all. One of the problems is that it only handles straight on faces. Uh, a lot of the lip sync tools will fall apart if you've got a character's head moving. And as soon as you get two people in there, the, the lip sync tools just don't know what to do about it. The other one is bad facial expressions. A lot of these AI tools, well, in fact, all of them, they can't pick up facial expressions. So you get these blank doll like faces. Next is inconsistent results through the shot, especially backgrounds. The backgrounds can change wildly whilst the scene is unfolding and just within a few seconds. And of course, the quality is really poor. That hasn't mattered to me because I'm excited about where this is going rather than where it's at. But Runway's latest version of video repainting has made massive strides forwards with those four problems. The lip sync is better and in some cases you almost don't need lip sync because it's already picking up and repainting the character's facial movement movements and mouth movements. Which brings me on to the second thing that's better, facial expressions. We're starting to see eyebrows moving, smiles, mouths moving, teeth, just expressions that you haven't had before. And the results are a lot more consistent. Even the backgrounds are looking the same the whole way through, it's lovely. And of course the quality is much, much better. So let me show you some of the results that I've had. Now the first one is a scene from a screenplay that I wrote and it was a test scene that I played around with a few years ago with some friends of mine. So this wasn't intended for a real production, but we were exploring this scene and seeing how it could look. And so I've been using it to test video repainting. Some things to watch out for are the way that that Danny runs her finger around the rim of the glass. The way she looks at the businessman, it's me, yeah, yeah, but in, in this movie, it's a different character. And so the way that Danny looks at my character, the way she tilts her head, all of her body language, it tells you a lot about what kind of character she is. And I wanted to see how well we could translate that. The next one is a bit of lip sync experimentation with a scene where, again, we've got Danny, the actress, who is presenting a very, very authentic human performance and a very authentic human delivery. And right from the offset, there was lip movement. It was remarkably aligned. Uh, even to the point where when I actually did run it through uh, Runway's own lip sync tool, that wasn't perfect either. So I tried running the same thing through Sync Labs to see if I got any better results. And actually they didn't keep up very well. So here's the three of them next to each other. I know all about the oil pipe deal with the Russians and how you double cross them with the Syrians. I know exactly where you keep the documents and I even know the combination number to the safe. I know exactly where you keep the documents and I even know the combination number to the safe. All in all, great facial expressions and eye control as well. That's another big deal. Where is the character looking? Is the character looking where they're supposed to be looking? You noticed in the previous one, the results were great from Runway's new version, but I didn't have perfect eye control. When Danny had her eyes closed, the repainted version didn't always have her eyes closed. And when Danny was looking at the businessman, the <laughs> we had one take where the character was looking straight down the barrel of the lens, something that 
really irks me if you know anything about my history with AI and trying to get filmmaking where you're not breaking the fourth wall. The next example pushes the envelope to the limits. This is where I'm trying to get an intro sequence that uh, where it's a one take and you're revealing new bits of information. First the shoes, then the glass and the hand and then the earpiece that goes into her ear and then you finally get to see the character's face. And I wanted that shot because it was um, it, it was a great way of just revealing the character and very, very challenging for AI. If you let the AI do it on its own, a lot of the tools have fallen apart attempting this. It gets crazy. It gets all over the place. And even Runway didn't, it struggled with this. So what I did was chop it up into different sections and add a prompt that matched that section and then I got much better results and then I had to start stitching it all together but so a bit of work involved but I got a much more similar result from the AI version with Runway than I have ever had before it's really impressive so in this final example uh, my friend Lauren who's an actress who's brilliant she brought to life an assassin type character and earlier in the year I've tried different AI video to video tools and got really mixed results it's an especially challenging shot because again I start out with the character's boots we wind around and get to see her hand as she pulls a gun out of her pocket and then you turn around and eventually you get to see her face as she pulls the gun out and points it and starts moving in the direction she's going in so it's a great gimbal shot very animated and revealing new bits of information <laughs> added to the complexity is the fact that Lauren had just had her hair extensions done that day. She'd got these funky new white hair extensions in and she also had this very cool um, funky little earmuffs that she was wearing just for the fun of it. And at the time we thought, oh, that makes it look quite cool. This kind of bad girl assassin with fluffy white earmuffs. That looks fun. Um, as it's happened, it's been a really good test for AI trying to figure out what to do with these things on the side of her head. And when we ran it through Runway, Runway did a much better job of handling these earmuffs and not recognizing it as a face, which is what usually happens. Most of the time, the AI just doesn't know what it's looking at. All it has to go on is the original prompt and it keeps trying to insert a face everywhere it possibly can until it finally gets to her face. In this wonderful final example, this is Lauren just giving me expressions into the camera, just looking happy and looking playful and fun. And it's been great for testing video to video AI tools or video repainting because there is lots of expression on her face. An old one where I tried Barbie uh, had no facial expression at all. But now when you look through the latest version from Runway, it's carrying lots and lots of the expression over. It's carrying a lot of her eye, con um, her eye direction over. It's carrying a lot of her her personality into this. It does miss some of her eye direction and it misses those times when she puts a tongue between her teeth or when she bites her bottom lip and uh, it doesn't pick up on that. So it's doing a great job but not there yet. Uh, looking forward to seeing where version 3 goes with this kind of subtle facial expression.